Welcome to Microbeast version 3, steps H and I. Let's take a look at the manual. On page 49, you'll see all the different swash types. In step H, we're going to tell the Microbeast what type you have. Since most of us use a 120 degree swash, that's what we'll go for. If you aren't sure, look at this swash plate. It has three points on the outside ring and they're spaced 120 degrees apart. It doesn't matter if your elevator's in the front or back, you still choose 120. We're going for the red light. Turn on your transmitter, then the microbeast, let it initialize. Hold down the button until the A light goes solid, then push the button a few times until the H light is lit. The default is red, so you can push the button again and go to step I. I'm going to go through all the options just in case yours isn't red. Remember, the MicroBeast does all the swash mixing, so be sure to set your transmitter to single servo. If you haven't already, push the button one time and go to Step I. Now your swash type is set. In step I, we're going to get all the servos going the right direction. We'll cycle through four possible choices. We're looking for the swash plate to move up and down while staying level. For now, the direction doesn't matter. That's not right. Nope. Back where we started, that looks good. Now check the direction of the elevator and aileron. As you can see, my aileron's okay, but my elevator's backwards. To fix this, I'll reverse the elevator in my transmitter. Now I'll check it again. Elevator looks good. I'm going to check the pitch. We also call that the collective. Mine's backwards, so I'll go into the transmitter and reverse the pitch channel. I'll check everything again. Collective looks good. Aileron's good. Elevator's good. That's good. Now my Fataba radio, all I had to do was change the elevator and pitch. Your transmitter may be different. You'd be using servo reverse or reverse. Or different transmitters call it different things. Now, if you can't get it to work right, don't pull your hair out. Make sure you have all the channels assigned properly. Review page 13 in the manual. Channels 2 and 3 must be on the side controlling the roll axis, and channel 3 has to be hooked to the elevator. If it still doesn't work, reset your transmitter, like I showed in earlier videos. Next up is Step J, Teaching the Cyclic Geometry. Please subscribe.